My MacBook is a 2016 15-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar, and on the actual laptop is a matte black D-brand skin for some protection. This is almost a top-of-the-line model except for a few details like the processor and the graphics card. Full specifications on screen right now. In my review a few months back, I mentioned it was not the best MacBook for the price, and for the price, it's actually quite expensive. But after using it daily and after a few software updates, it's a really great computer for most creative things and just most things in general. I think for most people, it's still way too expensive but if you can buy it, and if you want it, you'll love it. The main accessories I use tend to be, no surprise, adapters, like these from Satechi and Ilago, as well as a SanDisk dual USB-C flash drive. For more info on these, check out my full accessory video. And now, for the software that I use daily. First, I want to talk about a super cool subscription service called SetApp, which is basically a futuristic take on the Mac App Store and a great alternative. These apps include some popular and favorite titles like Clean My Mac, Polar, Screens, Flume, Blago, Capto, Downy, and a lot more, plus more that are constantly being added. It's just $9.99 per month, and it's a good deal considering buying all these apps would probably cost a lot more. Each app here is quality and hand-picked, so don't be a random mess of useless apps, and you can definitely suggest the apps that you want part of the service to the set app team as well. After downloading set app, the apps live in a folder that can be easily accessed. For more info and a one month free trial, hit the link in the description down below. And thanks to SetApp for sponsoring this video. Besides those apps, the app I use the absolute most on my Mac is Final Cut Pro 10. I use Final Cut as it's extremely easy to use and is very close to the software that I was using when I was 6 years old, which is iMovie, so I'm pretty used to the overall layout. It is a very powerful video editor, and I'm quite fluent in it so far, but I'm always learning new things. And besides Final Cut, I use Adobe's CS6 software for motion graphics, thumbnails, and design work. My web browser of choice is Chrome, with Safari used occasionally. Another app I use is an Android file transfer for easily transferring files from my Android phones to my Mac. The app I use to control my camera for my computer is the Canon EOS Utility app, and this app allows a live view including focus adjustment, white balance adjustment, and adjusting controls very easily. It's one of those really great apps that I almost can't live without at this point for my Canon camera, and thanks to TechSmash for the awesome suggestion. Moving on is a very basic app called Hidden Me that hides your desktop content with a click of a button. It's great for when I'm doing a screen recording or a presentation because I can hide my super messy desktop and make everything look very clean overall. I also of course use Steam for gaming when I have the time, and you can see some of the games that I play here. Some personal faves include Rocket League, The Binding of Isaac for some obvious naming reasons, and all the excellent Valve games too. One last thing I want to touch on are Apple apps. Things like iTunes and Apple Music, Notes, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, Grab, and the rest of the Apple desktop apps work very well for me, hence why I don't actually have too many applications at all. And that's it for this video, so what do you think of my MacBook Pro? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe, and of course, hit that Taco Bell. Thank you for watching.